Hi, everybody. It is Michael from Steelyard here with Greg Natali. I am in Florida. You are in Australia. This is the most distant, virtually distant interview I've ever done, which I'm super excited about. So, Greg, thanks for joining me this morning for me, this evening for you. My pleasure. My pleasure, Michael. So we are going to start with a little conversation about obviously not being in High Point together right now. Um, just want to hear what's going on in Australia. How are things for you all right now? Look, um, um, at the moment, we are in lockdown and things are going quite well. Um, we only have 1,500 cases left. We have, up, um, the Prime Minister said we have about another month of this like serious lockdown. Look, so all in all, compared to like, you know, cities like New York and Milan, we're doing well here, but we are in lockdown though. Now, how is that for somebody like you, the, the kind of the most used phrase I've heard for you is go, go, go. So yeah. <laughs> Oh, go guys. So you're on lockdown right now. How is that for you? Look, it's tough. It's tough because, you know, I, um, you know, I'm a very active person. I've got a lot of energy. It's been tough, but look, you know, I'm getting through it. Look, the, the, the lucky thing about Australia is that the prime minister never closed the building industry down. So the interior design business is still able to keep moving. But unfortunately, a lot of my commercial clients have put their projects on hold. Sure. But you do a lot of residential as well. So we do we do a lot of residential. But and also unfortunately, Michael, in December I opened my first flagship store in Sydney. And I've had to shut it down. I've had to just close it down for a month. Sure. But you know we're still but we you know we're still going with our online and also by appointment. So that's been a bit sad. But Hopefully in a month when the restrictions lift, we can open the store, reopen the store. What an amazing time from a business perspective. That was probably such a big decision for you and something you worked on for so long. You open it, all the excitement around opening it, and then you have to close it. And we're doing, and we're doing launch parties <laughs> and then COVID hits and we, had to, and we had to close it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so I am curious because I'm a bit of a nerd with the time zone thing and trying to figure things out. So when you come to High Point Market, yeah. What do you come in? Because it's such a long journey for you. So do you come in early usually and kind of get settled a little bit? Look, I actually come the night before. I, just the way it all works, you know, by the time I get there, I actually get there the night before. It's actually usually late. So I okay. usually get to high point at about 10 o'clock on Thursday. Oh my gosh. And just hit the ground running. And then it's just go, 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 go. But look, as I said, I've got a lot of energy and I love moving around and seeing things. Good. Well, I'm very interested in what I wanted to see um, this time. This this market was really your collection with Kindle. Oh, thank you, thank you. And I want to talk about that, but I want to start with what you did with Kindle last market, which was their facets collection, which I think is is one of the most beautiful case good collections there is. Oh, you, that's awesome, isn't it? And they came to you and, and said, "Can you inspire something?" Now, I'm fascinated. You used 12 pieces of hardware, I'm told, I doors of this, this piece. I did. I did. Okay. Um, look, I, what is really amazing about the Facet collection is that you can customize it. And clients love when you can customize things and change it up and, and you know, really give it their personality. And then I've actually got a pattern. It's one of my iconic patterns. In it. And, um, you know, I, I do towels with it. And it's called Astoria. I've, I've got towels with it and I've got wallpaper with it and we do a whole lot of stuff with it. So I was inspired by creating this Astoria pattern with using, a, you know, just a really square handle and I repeated it and it was just really effective. Huh. Okay, cool. So you went from that with Kindle to actually doing the Concord collection. So take us through the genesis of that. Take us through the relationship with Kindle, why Kindle and what, what's great about the Concord collection. Look, um, really, really quickly, I've been a big fan of Kindle and I've been a shopper of Kindle for the last 15 years. I've been buying the Dorothy Draper um, product for the last 15 years. I'm a big Dorothy Draper fan. So that's how the relationship started. And um, I actually, the, the cover of my last book, which is called The Pattern of the Interior, had a Kindle sofa on it. Yes. So that really started the whole relationship. So then after they saw the book, they asked me to do a, a, a facet piece. Then I, then I presented to the team this idea I had for the Concorde collection. So I've been spending a lot of time in Paris. I love Paris. I go to Paris all the time. 
I find it really inspirational. I go and shop at the markets. I buy a lot of vintage furniture from Paris. Paris is the first city I ever visited when I was an adult, when I was 20 years old. Really? So I go to Paris every year or even twice a year, unfortunately. Actually, I just made it by the skin of my team. I, I was in Paris in February. So just before the lockouts, I was in Paris. So okay. um, a design a design era that I really love and I'm really influenced is Art Deco. And I love European Deco and French Deco. Yeah. And French and European um, Deco is a bit different to the American Deco. And I love American Deco. American Deco is a bit more, is, a, is probably a bit more um, heavier. And French Deco is probably inspired more about, um, about modernism. So I was inspired by that era. And Kindle being a classic furniture company, and their DNA really is about creating beautiful classic furniture. I wanted to create another classic furniture collection, but I wanted it to be a bit cleaner and a bit modern. So I looked at Art Deco for inspiration and I wanted to create something, you know, maybe just a bit more modern and a bit more cleaner. Okay. And the stepping idea is something that I'm using a lot in my products at the moment. It's a classic deco um, motif. And I'm, you, you know, I'm making bowls in it and, you know, and, and doing all this stuff in it. And the reason it's called Concord is because... That was my next question. Go ahead. It's inspired by, um, you know, the Plaza of Concord and, you know, the Triangular Obelisk. So it's all that ID. Okay. That's now, why it's called Concord. Love it. Do you have a favorite piece from the collection that we would have seen if we were in... Well, Look, my, my definitely my favourite piece is the credenza. Okay. I love the credenza because I love all the detailing around the edge and I love the legs and I just think it's a really beautiful piece. And okay. what I really love about this collection is the way we were able to be really clever because I love, Michael, I love mixing metals. Yeah. And Kindle is really, you know, a timber wood company, which I love. So... All the metal is actually um, gold leaf details. Huh. So I was able to be really clever and sort of still have metal, but use um, use like gold and silver leaf and metal leaf details just to break it up. But it's all still timber. That's amazing. I think Kim and that's my favorite piece where I'm able to mix a lot of the metal details and it looks like metal, but it's actually just all leafed. Okay, well, I'm definitely going to check that one out. I love that Kindle is such a heritage brand. They've been around for so long. Yeah, so tile with facet, and then what you're doing. They take what they do really well, and they're allowing you to take it in a different direction and add some of your flair to it. And Michael, and that's what I really wanted to create with the facet collection. It's that heritage. That's what I love about Kindle. It's that heritage, and that's why I wanted to look at a another classic period, which is Art Deco, which I felt works so well with the DNA of Kindle and not necessarily look at something that was maybe 18th or 19th century for inspiration. Sure. Okay, so we have to, we have to wait until October to physically see this in the showroom at High Point, but we can- And I really hope, I hope all these travel restrictions are lifted so I can come. They will be. The October market is going to be the biggest market ever, the biggest party we have ever seen in High Point. It's gonna be- I'm gonna be there with bells on, Michael. Fantastic, I'm gonna hold you to the bells part too. Yeah. We have to ask, since Paris is your favorite city, are you going to reveal your favorite restaurant or favorite cafe or something that we all need to know about in Paris? Oh, look, definitely, definitely my favorite restaurant in Paris at the moment is Lulu, which is okay. at, which is part of the whole Louvre complex. Yeah. Um, I love the color of Paris for me. And actually, I'm in my home at the moment. Yeah. And you can see the walls of Maroon. <laughs> so even even this apartment is inspired by Paris. Yeah. So a few years ago, I was with my partner, and I was I, I was looking for a signature um, color for the apartment. And maroon is a color of Paris, and there's a lot of maroon at Lulu. So Lulu is definitely my favorite um, restaurant at the moment in Paris. Okay, cool. So we've got the tailored interior. We've got the patterned interior. Is there a third book coming at some point? Another interior that we need to know about. Yeah, there is. Look, there definitely is. Like, we haven't started work on it yet. Like, we physically haven't started work. But, you know, the work from the last three years will be the work for the next book. 
Okay. So maybe, you know, maybe I might start working on the book in maybe a year or two. I mean, you're at home right now. You should just start writing it and launch it in October at market. Can Look, I, I, keep, I, keep a, um, I keep notes in my notes in my phone and I'm always like playing with names and I'm playing, you know, I'm playing with all the projects and all that sort of stuff. So it's definitely here. And, okay. and look, to be totally honest, I have secretly started on, um, on, on, a, on a chapter and layouts and all that sort of stuff. But we haven't, but you know, we've loosely spoken to um, the, um, the publisher about it. Okay. We haven't officially started, but I have done a chapter. I have done a chapter. Um, a, um, I have been playing with a chapter to the horror of my, of my staff. That's because go, go, go is your, is your phrase and you've got to go, go, go and, and keep on. Well, we love it. That's great. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much. I want to allow oh, you. Thanks, Michael. Thank you. Now, because thank it's you so me. late there in Australia, but thank no, you. No, 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 it's fine. It's so fine. I'm actually, I'm actually a late starter. And Michael, I really hope I can make it um, in October. And I hope to meet you in October. I, and I really so. can't wait to show everyone my Concord collection because I'm so passionate about um, furniture and about interiors and about design. We are going to have a party around the Concord collection at Kindle and all of our designers can see your collection with Kindle on, on Steelyard and what we're doing with High Point at Home. And that's why we wanted to have this chat. So Greg, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll see you soon. Cheers. Thank you.